Good morning and welcome to our Friday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will. It's great having you with us here today. I'd like to open up our time together this Friday morning by reading to you from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, which reads, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity of being able to come before your holy word this Friday morning. Lord, we pray that you would open our hearts and open our minds, that we may receive what you would have for us to receive. For we pray this in your name. Amen. In the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, the Apostle Paul writes, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. A peace that transcends or passes all understanding even in the face of adversities. In other words, Paul's talking about peace of mind. And who doesn't want that, right? Peace of mind. But how does one come to possess this inner peace? Well, the Apostle Paul points to prayer. But is, but is prayer and just prayer and prayer alone the way to receive that peace? Or is it the one to whom we pray to? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, which I just read a moment ago, a prophecy of one who was to come, one who would be born, and one who would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It's that last title that captures my attention because it answers the question of how to possess a peace that transcends all understanding. If one wants to experience inner peace, one would do well to invite the Prince of Peace, that is Jesus, into one's life. You see, it is Jesus who makes peace possible between us and God by reconciling us to God and thus lays a foundation for peace of mind. Knowing that God loves us and that God cares for us, knowing that this same God is a God that we can trust, a God who is with us in all situations. My friends, do you know this God? Is the Prince of Peace the Lord of your life? That is what will make all the difference in the end of the day and in one's life. So call out to him. And by all means, Share this Prince of Peace with everyone you know. May the Prince of Peace reign in your hearts. I hope that you have a great weekend. I hope to see you in church on Sunday. Till next time on Time in a Word, blessings. I'll catch you later.